Let's see if we can get this 110 volt 3 watt LED light to light this little steam engine. Yep, there we go. Let's see what our cam takes to get that come on. Okay, set the flicker. And it's out. Tick over pretty slow. Alright, the boiler is up to uh, temperature, so we're going to open this. Now these, these cylinders are cold, so the minute the steam hits those, it's going to condense back into water, and the water is going to have to force out of these cylinders. If this was a large engine, you'd have um, drain cocks up both sides of the piston to let the water out. This one is just going to squeeze out. So we're going to go ahead and open the steam. You can hear it coming in there, you can kind of see the water coming out. The little engine's trying to start by itself, that's cool. Just gotta work the water out, there we go. It runs a lot smoother now. This little engine is uh, run for about an hour, and so it's uh, broken in, it's a lot smoother. Um, just means all the parts have kind of worn into each other, and um, it takes a lot of lubrication. Um, points here, here, here on the oscillating face, um, the crank, the pin. Um, so this, this type of engine is going to take uh, a little bit of oiling each time you run it. Uh, but I just wanted to go through while the boiler is heating up. Um, where's the energy go? So, right now we're putting a lot of energy into the boiler, and when the steam comes in, um, you're going to get some work out of it, but you're also getting a lot of heat coming off the parts. You're losing uh, energy to the friction and the bearings on these faces, so that's where some of the energy is going. And then um, the exhaust comes out here in this condenser tube. And to the extent that there's still heat coming out of the exhaust, you're losing that. So it's the difference between 250 degree temperature steam and, you know, maybe 220 degree exhaust. It's not a lot of difference. So the temperature differential is maybe 30 degrees. And you're getting a portion of that out as work. Um, so what we're going to do today is see if we can light this. This is a 3 watt. 110 volt LED bulb. I'm going to see if we can light this bulb just using this engine um, and this little alternator down here. Now this is kind of silly because we're using you know, 500 watts of electricity to try and make 3 watts of power here. Um, that doesn't make a lot of sense. Now 
we're not always putting 500 watts in here because this will come up to temperature and pressure and it'll shut off. But what you would do is use um, waste heat, solar, biomass um, to create electricity. So that does make sense. I wanted to show you too. Condensate we're getting back. So we've got uh, maybe a third of a cup of water back after this runtime. 